Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance product. Okay, that's what it is, man. Anything else you want to say to your fans, man? All right, man. Shout out to Dante Boxing Nation. You know, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, Earl Spence Jr. My whole name. And just look out for me. Yes, sir. Let me dig into your brain. Folks falling like rain. No way. There's no way. Adrian Bronner should have opened up as a 5-1 underdog against Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia isn't Floyd Mayweather. Very, very good little young fighter. He's a fighter that we wanted to sign at one point. It didn't work out. You know, we still think, you know, the best, you know, of him. He's a, a terrific little fighter. You know, um, he's gotten a lot of credit for the, his last win. You know, which, you know, cut. He was off for a while, and I think this he's had he's had like three fights in four years, something like that. Three fights in a, in a few years. So I, I think that that will play a factor. His inactivity will play a factor in this fight. Because when Broder fought Madonna, he deviated from his game plan. When he fought Sean Porter, he didn't show up. He needs to show up this Saturday. Well, those those style-wise, those are different type of fighters. If someone was making a comparison say, well, Mikey handles uh, Madonna in, in spawn or it has in the past. That's the gym. That's, 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 the, that's the gym. He's, um, he, you know, both, both are very good fighters, but there's no way. I, I just can't see it. I could be wrong, but I just can't see it. I can't see Mikey beating Adrian Brown. I just can't see it. Do you still see Garcia rising in weight with the power at 135 to 140? It's a big difference. It's a big jump. It's a big jump. And when you when you hit when you and then someone had a nerve to say that he was a better technical fighter. He's a better boxer. He's a good little fighter, but you gotta understand that a lot of times I think I mentioned this recently. Matchmaking has a lot to do with how fighters look. You know what I mean? And it's like enough credit doesn't be given to the matchmaker. You know, the Bruce Trampers, the John Ben Nadis, and, and the. Um, there's a, a number of excellent, great matchmakers that are out there. Bruce Trampler built Michael Garcia. You know, we started out with Bruce Trampler. Great, great matchmaker. But. Our philosophy early on, we wanted to be put in tough. We, we wanted to be put in tough. So you know where you're at. You know? And a lot of guys got big records and they ain't been in there. They, 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 they haven't been down in the battlefield. You know what I'm saying? We've seen guys get up off the canvas. You know, and Adrian Braun is a dog. I mean, you know, and, and again, he, he's put himself, the criticism that he's faced thus far in his career, he's solely responsible for all of it. But he's also a hell of a fighter, too. He's also a hell of a fighter. Yeah, 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 no, no, he, he, yeah. he's a dog. He's a, he's hey, a Leonard. Dog. Do you think Mikey's been put in tough? I, I know there's been a lot of comparisons between the two resumes. No, no, absolutely not, absolutely not. He's, he's, he's for good competition, good competition, but again, I'm fully, fully aware of who built his career. I know the mindset, I know how they build fighters, and they have confidence, more confidence than some fighters, and some fighters ask to be put in tough. Some fighters want, that's how Floyd always was. Floyd, we, he didn't want nothing either. He didn't want nothing, he, want, he wanted those tests early on. So you know where you're at. If you, if you, if you hadn't been down there and you, uh, you hadn't been through any tough tests in your boxing career, you know, what's what's gonna happen when when you're in a dog fight? When you're in a dog fight, you know, when when he when he when he hits Adrian Braun, Adrian ain't gonna go nowhere. They they making a big deal about his power. He's a he's a good he's a good puncher. He's a good puncher. Smaller weights, different type of fighters that he's been fighting. You know, Aiden have been in there. He's been in there. Hey, Leonard, I had a similar question to, to his. Mm. Do you feel the difference is Mikey hasn't been in with that type of style, that type of style of Adrian Broner's? 
compared to the opponents that Mike has been in with before? Well, I mean, he, he, his trainer is, you know, the, the greatest trainer ever, according to them. Um, good trainer. But, you know, at the end of the, at the, end of the day, um, I just think stylistically, Adrian just does everything better. He does everything. He's bigger. And I don't think enough has been said about that. You know, he's not fighting a little guy. He's not fighting a little guy. You know, and, and the style, they say, oh, he's a terrific boxer. He's a very good boxer. But it's, it's a little different. He's fighting a different type of, fighting a different type of fighter. Somebody that's been in there that is not, he's going, Adrian's going to keep coming. Adrian's not going to be running around. He's going to keep the pressure on him. He's going to walk him down. I know what's going to happen.